Hi, and welcome to another week of our Unscripted series. This week, I'm back in the shop, and I'm going to talk to you about kind of unintended consequences, and this has a little bit of an engineering flair to it, and just diagnostic flair. So, you've seen our side bending equipment before. We take a set of sides, we spritz them with a little bit of water, we sandwich them in between the spring steel that's covered with aluminum foil, so it doesn't uh, stain the wood. This heating blanket goes in that sandwich. It all goes in the bender. We bring it up close to 300 degrees, and then we clamp it down and mold it to the particular side form that we're looking for. So Char does this operation, and she's done, gosh, almost a thousand sets of sides, and done them, I mean, they've, they've worked really well. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, we were out here in the shop, and she started spritzing, and her, her bottle, her spritz bottle died. So I went and got her another one. And uh, it's obvious to you because of the way I'm telling the story, but we started noticing that the sides were not bending as well as they used to bend. And it, they were just, we were having to um, work them a little bit more. We could feel the wood kind of fighting back with us a little bit. And we had forgotten that we'd gone and gotten a new water bottle. And I mean, how much difference can a water bottle make? Uh, you wouldn't think it'd make any difference at all. But, you know, we're wondering, why are we having trouble with the sides all of a sudden? And then Char starts questioning herself, as you might do. Like, oh my gosh, what wacky thing has happened to cause this, this process to go awry? Started researching other people on the, on the internet that do side bending and what temperature they take it to and how much water. And suddenly we're varying all sorts of the process trying to find the right balance. And, uh, and then we remembered we changed the bottle. And we said, wait a minute, let's get back to basics here, which is side bending has always gone well for us. Something changed. And the only thing that changed was this water bottle. And sure enough, we found out that it put out a little less water than the previous bottle. The sides were going in a little bit dry and, and they were fighting back a little bit. So I think that's just a story for us about when things change, looking at what has changed and why. And for me, it's a reinforcement of the way that we at Mayamoe build, which is in a continuous process. And we're lucky we have enough space that we can do that, but there's a huge advantage to it. And that is that every day we bend a set of sides. So when something changes, we know right away, not after a batch of sides, but after just one. And we can figure out what went wrong in the process, what has changed, and fix that. And as much as we try to keep things incredibly consistent here, you'd be surprised at how many tiny things can change apart from a supplier or even a little water bottle. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.